than two months after getting hired. Shiano said he needs to, quote, spend more time in my faith and family. And his role on the coaching staff wasn't really clearly defined, but now there's speculation that Bill Belichick will play the dual role of head coach and defensive coordinator. So, Shannon, uh, what does this tell you? What's going on here? The timing of this, Skip, is really, really odd. When someone, Jen, what he said, he got a, he, his faith. Spend time in my faith, faith and my family. Skip, I don't want to speculate. I'm going to leave that alone. That's, that's neither here nor there. Um, it's odd for the simple fact, Skip, I believe Greg Shiano wanted to get back and right a wrong that happened to him in Tampa. He felt that he got fired prematurely before he could right the ship in Tampa. And I believe this was going to be his first step because we know this. If you ever become a, a coordinator under Coach Belichick, you're going to get a head coaching job. Be it Charlie Weiss, be it Bill O'Brien, be it mm -hmm. Josh McDaniels, be it Romeo Cornell, be it Eric Mangini, be it Brian Flores, be it Matt Patricia. Yep. If you become a coordinator under him at yep. New England, you're getting a head coaching job. And I believe this was going to be the, the, the bridge or the launching pad to get him back to where he ultimately wanted to be. So obviously, this has to be something very, very serious. Now, these guys never get any credit, especially on the defensive side, because they say, oh, Coach Belichick, same thing in, at, at Alabama. But that's Coach Saban's defense. Oh, that's Coach Belichick's defense. Mm -hmm. Whatever the case may be, I just think it's odd, the timing of it. But as when someone asked Coach Belichick about Gronk retiring this offseason, Coach Belichick said that's the best time to retire. <laughs> in the offseason. Well, if this was going to happen, and I'm sure you got, they just hired Jared Mayo, who's going to work up under uh, uh, Shiano. Yep. Bob Frazier, who was an assistant at Rutgers in Tampa yep. under Shiano. So I just think the timing is a little odd. It tells me that there's something seriously, seriously going on. Mm -hmm. I don't want to speculate to what that is, but for him to take this step, knowing how long it's been since he's been in the NFL, because no one else would even give him an opportunity. He wasn't getting a call as a, a position coach, a linebacker's coach, or, or D coordinator. He had to go back to the college route, work his way. You remember, he got let go at Ohio State. They went yeah. in a different direction. Yep. Coach Belichick threw him a lifeline, mm -hmm. pulled him to shore, and I guess mm. something um, at home forced him to come back in. Mm. So I'm with you. I don't want to speculate on Greg Schiano's private life, his personal life. But I will speculate on Bill Belichick's professional life. Mm -hmm. I think this is mostly about Bill Belichick being back in business in his mind. What just happened at the league meetings in Phoenix? They take an annual coach's picture. Mm -hmm. Who showed up for the picture for the first time in, well, he'd missed the previous three years. Mm -hmm. Who showed up? Oh, yeah. Bill. He was yeah, there. Yeah. He was I mean, third from the left on the front on. row, and he had his sneakers on, and he had a big old smile on his face. Well, I mean, Skip, he wasn't, he done, I mean, he should have been showing up all the time. Why would you not show up? With all the mm. rings, yeah. Yeah. I would be there. Uh, maybe because he didn't feel like he was getting enough credit for those rings. Uh, he did show up after the 2014, that would be the Seattle Super Bowl right. win. But he showed up in flip flops and jeans, and he looked like he didn't really want to be there. So that he was like the only that all time. The time. Yeah, well, that was the only time out of the last five years that he has shown up for the team picture until this one. Okay. <laughs> so what does that tell me? It tells me that he is back to front running Bill. He Don't is, do that. Yep. Why you see? He is flexing his muscles. Not that he has a whole lot of muscles yeah, to dude. flex, but he figuratively, flexing. he's flexing his flex muscles. on him, Coach Belichick. Yeah, he is out there saying, "Look at me, I'm back." I'm in charge now, and I'm going to, to regain control of this franchise. What did we say happened? This is according to the ESPN report, and we both agreed on this. At the trade deadline a year ago, he was forced by Robert Kraft to trade Jimmy Garoppolo, and he just gave him away to mm -hmm. Kyle Shanahan in Correct. San Francisco. And I'm just guessing on this, but maybe educated guessing, that Effectively, Bill Belichick felt sort of coaching emasculated by that. That's the first time that he got the power ripped out of his hands when it came to personnel decisions, right? Mm -hmm. Because he wanted to part ways with Tom Brady after this past football season. And, man, I think it worked out. I think it, I think it was okay. I, right? I don't think this is going uh, to yeah. bother the, uh, uh, the Patriots in any way. Mm -hmm. Coach Belichick didn't leave, did he? Nope. Tom Brady didn't mm -hmm. step down, did he? Nope. Uh, they'll, be, they'll be just fine. Uh, he never lost. Wait a second. You're not commenting on what, what I just said. He's, I, he's back in. Obviously, he, he's going to regain hold control. On, what about the what about the 
the way he held the 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 Falcons scoreless. Did that mean anything? Yeah, but they were down 28 to 3. So he well, didn't well, take tell huge Tom, credit. Tell Tom Brady to stop throwing pick sixes. Right. And they wouldn't have been 20 that down sure. down 28 to 3. Mm-hmm. Oh, you don't want to talk about that? Well, do you want to talk about Tom Brady throwing for 246 in the fourth See? quarter in overtime? How many points did they Yikes. give up? How many points did how Yikes. many how many points did they give up in the fourth quarter woo, in overtime? Woo. How many points did the Patriots defense give up in the fourth all, quarter? All you in need to know is what Thank just you. happened in the previous Super Bowl that we just watched him. He gave up three points to a team right. that's averaging 36. And he showed up for the coaching photo. I love that. Ah, okay, so what about what, 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 did Tom, what did Tom do? Uh. They were the fourth in the league in scoring, uh. and they scored 13 points. Uh. Tom Brady made the throw. No, no, we're talking about no D throw. Yeah. That coach, that, that, I mean, think, hold on. Go back to the very first Super Bowl they won. Mm-hmm. A team that had a Hall of Fame at quarterback, Kurt Warner, Hall of Fame at running back, mm-hmm. Marshall Falk, yeah. Hall of Fame at left, left tackle, Orlando Pace. Okay, okay, so what? Your point is what? He, he lost. He did that. He, he, he been there. Ain't going nowhere. Then after that, it became all Brady all the time. No, he didn't. And Brady got all the credit for it. Hold on. What about, yeah. that, what about that job he did on Philly? Mm-hmm. It was fair. I mean, Terrell Owens shouldn't even have been playing in the Don't game. Don't do that. Well, Stop I, everybody it. Everybody thought that. No, nobody thought. He you couldn't thought run. That. Yes, he, he could. couldn't run. He was somebody. He caught nine balls for 122 yards and zero touchdowns that, because they just said, okay, take that, how, take how, that, how many, take t- that. How many touchdowns did Julian Edelman have this year in, the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in that Super Bowl game? He was the MVP. How many, touchdown, how many mm. touchdowns did he have? And he can run. Mm. No broken leg. Wasn't coming off a broken leg. What did I tell you? Brady should have been the MVP. No, he should not. Stop you it, Skip. It and I Stop know it. it, Skip. He played he, terrible. He, he, he threw four straight completions, including a 29-yarder that won the football game. It was 3-3 three to three in the middle of the fourth quarter. Skip. And what happened? Skip. Brady happened. You, I mean, you just was that a, not the ball game? Was that you, not you didn't it? realize what you just did? Game over. You just put a limbo, no. up, a limbo bar up. Yeah. This low. That's because that's the bar is so low for Tom Brady. <laughs> he threw four straight completions, one for 29 yards, and he should have been the MVP. Yep. What about that pick it that he threw? three to three. What at about that point. the pick? He threw one. He, he throws them every once in a while. He is did, human. How many he touchdowns? Is human. No, 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 no. Yeah. How many touchdowns did he throw? Well, it could have been a touchdown. It got, he, he got tackled at the one, but it was a touchdown throw. No, it was not. Yes, it was. How did he go? Where did he go he down there? He dropped it down the chimney between three Rams. Yep. How do you do that? And he had one. You know what? It was the clutchest throw of the clutchest and, career. And remember, he had, a, he had a stretch. Yeah, he had like, what, five or six yeah. straight incompletions? Yeah. But we're not going to talk about that skill. Well, this all, is all I know is that Belichick got his wrist slapped and, and, Robert Kraft said, you will keep him, and you will start him, and it only turned into another Super Bowl for Robert Kraft. Well, they got bigger issues in this organization than Greg Schiano okay. walking out the back door. All right, well, that's fine, but that's a whole other issue but, that does not pertain to this one. But you, uh, look here, as long as, as long as they got Brady and Belichick, mm-hmm. mainly Belichick, the New England Patriots will be fine. Okay, well that's obvious. As long Belichick, as you have, as long as you have twelve, as you're, long as you get the golden. See, see, there you go. As long well, as you got Belichick, who mm. does all the shopping? Mm. Who does all the cooking? Mm. Okay, Brady is the head chef, mm-hmm. but we buying all the ingredients. We telling you what to prepare. Mm. You just do it. Mm. So we have to read stories that Belichick was in on Odell as as a possible trade. He was in on AB, and I'm like. And and you got where with either one? You're you're not going to do that. First of all, you know good and well the Pittsburgh Steelers were not going to yeah, trade no. him to the New England Probably Patriots. Not. And and given New England, they were never go. They're never going to trade Odell to. The, they're not going to make him stronger. Mm. If anything, they're trying to pull players away from New England. Mm. But it only matters if you can pull two people away from New England. Mm. That head coach and that quarterback. Nothing else matters. Mm. Well, we've known that for a long time. Well, I've been knew that. Yeah. I, that's why I give him 75% of the credit, Coach Belichick. 75% goes to Tom Brady. No, don't do that, no, Skip. Nobody it. thinks Belichick is Yes, they do Tom think it. Brady. Yes, they do think it. How? Easy. He even cheated. He, he, he spy-gated. Well, somebody says, well, they say the same thing about your guy. Uh, I don't think he did. <laughs> he, he went well, to court well, Coach Belichick, and won. Coach Belichick said, hold on, you tell me I can shoot from up there, mm-hmm. but I can't. So what's the difference? Mm-hmm. If I look across like this here, mm-hmm. this is cheating. But if I can see your paper from over there, that's not. Okay, but the rule said it is cheating. Well, and the, you got caught. The rule said the you blatantly defied the rule. The rules say between twelve 
and 13 pounds of pressure per square inch in a football. Mm. Somehow they had a Nerf football. And Brady said, I just went to the lower end of regulation. He told All him right. to do it. All right. Enough of the Patriots for mm. now. That one might never Most be settled. Most people think enough of them for good. For <laughs> a while. All right. Not around here. We are going to talk about Zion Williamson, and most people can't get enough of this guy. Will he be an <laughs> NBA superstar? Rob Parker is here. He'll help us next. Ryan Blaney is a modern-day NASCAR renegade.